Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, I am in DCS World and I've been playing around with the latest NVIDIA driver that just came out. And um, I've been messing with image sharpening. And image sharpening does some kind of neat stuff. It looks a little different, almost weird, but also kind of cool. Like, it makes this look weird though, like this splash screen or whatever. All this over here looks kind of weird. Let's take a look at the F-18 over the Persian Golf and the free flight mode. Oh, I forgot to turn on my track eye. Ugh. Guess I'll have to live with it. here we go so everything looks a little more granular like this I think would be the best description for it but if you look at the textures everything looks I don't know way more detailed it's like the textures are popping more now that it's it's in 1.0 full image sharpening like just the dirt on the nose and the the grime. Like look, this looks way more detailed right here. All that dirt. I just don't remember seeing that before. And then as we look below, let's give it some juice. Yeah, I don't have my track IR going. This kind of sucks. But everything else looks kind of more detailed, too. Now, as you get closer to it, it almost... I don't know. It's different. It, the, the best way to describe it is different. But it definitely looks tighter and sharper. Just look at the Hornet. Like the detail on those textures. And then everything else looks tighter and sharper behind me. And this is at 3840 by 1080 on my 144 hertz 49 inch display. Definitely looks better. But it's different. And it looks, I don't know, different, I guess. I don't think it looks bad. Some people might not like it. Uh, some people will, some people won't. Um, I'm not going to say it looks bad, it just looks different. Very different how things are rendered, I guess. Has more of a hand-drawn look versus the photorealistic look, I guess. So let's take a look at something else. Just an action... Which one? Let's do the free flight in the Huey. Now, right away, the first thing I'm noticing is how different the ground texture looks. And the other thing I've noticed is it doesn't seem to be taking a hit on the frame rate either. Everything seems to be working the same, if not better at times. So I've kicked the frame rate up, look, 130, 120 some FPS. Not at all bad by any means. Again, the texture, this is more of a clean texture, so you're not going to see it as much on this. But the terrain looks so much more sharper, I think. So I definitely think the image sharpening definitely sharpens things. 
but it almost has a granular effect, if that makes any sense. Again, which isn't a bad thing, but it definitely looks different and takes some getting used to. 170, 160 FPS. That's really good. Let's take a look at one more thing here. And again, this is enabled from within the 3D Manage 3D settings under your NVIDIA driver, and this only works with NVIDIA cards. What else would be a good example? Ooh, I bet you that uh, Normandy mission looks really nice, that Harbor Strike mission. Let's look at the Vigan for a second. But the splash screens look a little granular now. The other thing I was messing with is uh, DSR. Uh, basically, it's an upscaling technique. So if you've got... See, water looks a little different. Um, if you've got a 1080 display and you want to get a 4K image on it, this will upscale it four times and then bring it back down and display it natively at your native resolution of 1080p. Kind of cool. And then look at the textures on this thing. Holy cow. It just makes a pretty big difference. Things look very different for sure. Hard things taking a look at this thing while flying because wants to take a dump into the water on us over here. 120, 124 FPS. Let's see what we get here. And see as you look closer into the cockpit how granular some of that stuff looks. Let's see. Bring that up and Let's just drop some bombs right here and take off and see what that looks like. Boom, boom, boom. Just look at the textures. It's definitely different. If you watch my other video, this definitely looks more hand-drawn. Which, again, isn't a bad thing, it's a different thing. So some people might not like this look. But that is image sharpening. And there's a slider, basically, and it goes from 0 to 1. Um, and that's how I'm using it. Just playing around with it to see what kind of options I can get and, and what it does for me. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Give it a shot if you have an NVIDIA card. It only works on NVIDIA cards, and it comes with the latest driver that was just released, I believe, this week. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button, and until next time.